Okay, here we go. Lesson 17, problem set. This is the unit rate as the scale factor. So Giovanni went to Los Angeles for the summer to visit his cousins. He used a map of bus routes to get from the airport to his cousin's house. The distance from the airport to his cousin's house is 56 kilometers. On his map, the distance is um, four centimeters. What is the scale factor? So, when we're thinking about scale factor, remember we were talking about the new over the original. We also talked about looking at that as the scale over the original. In this case, we will need to do the scale over the original, but um, they also need to be in the same units. So, here I have centimeters and here I have kilometers. We're going to convert that. Um, you may or may not know this um, mnemonic device, but it's kangaroos hop down my driveway chasing me. Okay, so I need to make these kilometers into um, centimeters. So I'm going from here to here. So that's one, two, three, four, five decimal places. One, two, three, four, five. So that's... Um, Wow, five million six hundred thousand. Okay, four to five million six hundred thousand. I think I want to use Desmos to simplify that. So I tried to just type that in Desmos. It didn't work out so great. Um, this is scientific notation. In other words, this is a very small number. So I think I'm going to approach it a different way. That would be 1 over 14 if it was just um, 4 over 56. And I'm going to use that information to help me simplify this. What is it? 1 over 14. So that's going to be 1 over 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 zeros. So that's 1 over 1,400,000. Um, in other words, wow, um, every... Um, point on this uh, map is one less than one one millionth. Um, okay, so great. There's that one. Nicole is running for the pre for school president. Okay, her best friend designed her poster, which measured. You know, I'm going to have to draw this out three feet by two feet. And Nicole liked it so much, she produced the artwork. On rectangular buttons that measured two inches by one and a third inches. Okay, so for the scale factor, the first thing I need to do, thinking about this scale over original, um, I will need these in the same unit as well. So this would be 36 inches, this would be 24 inches, so the scale would be two over the original and let's just do that here. 2 divided by 36 make that a fraction Whoa. 118 okay and let's double check that that's the same here we have 1 and 1 third divided by 24 and we get 118. So the scale factor is 118. For every one inch um, in our button is 18 inches on the poster. Now I'm going to find the scale factor using these measurements. They're both in centimeters, so that's good. So we want the scale over the original. Notice that the scale is actually larger than the original, so um, should have a number greater than one when I'm finished. So the scale is five, the original is three, so that is one and two thirds for that scale factor. This time it looks like, I um, can't really compare yet because I have different measurements. So, I feel like I have different measurements. Let me double check the original on that. Yes, this is intended to be the um, radius. 
and this is of course the diameter. So I need to be comparing the same thing. Let's go ahead and do the diameter here. That'd be 12 centimeters. They're both in centimeters. Good. And we do our scale over the original. It does look like this is smaller than um, the original. So it's 12 over 24, which is one half. And our scale factor is one half. Okay, two more. Using the given scale factor, create a scale drawing for the act from the actual picture. Scale factor of three. Okay, so um, this is one inch. I'm going to practice my drawing. Okay. That's one inch. Is that really one inch? It is. So I'm going to need to make something that is three inches. Now, let's see what's here. That is, oh gosh, not as easy to do. Um, that's one and a half. So, no, that's not one and a half. This is 0.75. That is a fractional piece. Let me look at that a little closer, and then I'll get right back to you. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I had to get really close. So, um, right here, let me skip this up. Uh, what you have is 11 sixteenths right here. Inches are divided into sixteenths, okay? So, the easiest way to think about it would be um, right here at the one-half. That's going to be 8 sixteenths. So then 9, 10, 11 sixteenths. And I went ahead and um, did 11 sixteenths times 3. That's 2 and 1 sixteenth. That's when I've used a scale factor of 3. I should end up what is it, 2 and 1 sixteenth. So again, inches are separated into sixteenths. So 2 and 1, little mark. Past it, 1 16th, and there we have it. This is 2 and 1 16th, this is 3, all in inches. Okay, do that again over here. See, that's how we get better, the way you practice. And I think at this point, okay, and then I'm just going to rest that piece of it. Okay, so notice this is larger than the original, which is what... Um, we're looking at now scale factor of three fourths. This is going to be um, smaller. Now I'm going to sketch this. There I went, not doing good again. <laughs> okay, uh, three fourths. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to draw it and then I'll share. Okay, so I slowed down. I went back. I measured everything in centimeters. This is the originals. Until I was turning the paper around as I measured. Then I took each of the original measurements and multiplied that by the scale factor, which in this case was three-fourths, and came up with my new measurements, and I have drawn that in purple. Notice how when I took my time and did it with a ruler, it turned out a lot better than when I just tried to sketch it. So this is three-fourths of the original. It's a little smaller. I just drew it inside. So there you have it. Um, thank you.